Perhaps you wanted multiple user accounts on your iPhone or iPad or whatever. There's an app called iUsers that will let you do that. It's made for the iPad, but it will also work for the iPhone or in this case, an iPod Touch. So to get this going, you need to edit your repositories first. So we're gonna go to the Manage tab in Cydia and click on Sources, and then Edit, and then we're gonna add a repository, and that will be And that will be cydia.iBlogGeek.com, and that is only with one G. So instead of iBlogGeek, it's more like iBlogGeek. So when you're adding it, just don't put that extra G in there. And then you'll see this screen, which is updating the sources. So that's good. And when it's all done doing that, we'll be able to search for iUsers. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to go to the search tab and type in iUsers. Got it? And we just need to install this. It is a free package. Okay, so we don't have iUsers set up at all. So I can't click that little user button right there. So we're gonna go into settings and we'll enter me, Adam, as the first user and we'll say that my passcode is let's go with Snoopy okay so I have unlocked my account with all my stuff in it now that I've added that one user now we have to go and add another user I have to just find where is it there so I'm going to add another user besides myself. We'll call it, let's just give Wits an account actually. I'm going to go set this up real quick. Okay, so now I've added Wits in without a password. And he's also, you'll see here, there's an option for admin. And you can turn that on or off if you want them to have administrative privileges. Okay, now that we're all set up here, you'll see you can slide to unlock into the account that you're in. Let's just take a look at the account that I'm in right now. Put in my password here. And you'll see if we go into mail contacts and calendars and iCloud, you can see my iCloud account is right there. Now, if we want to do um, another user, or just go into a guest user account, uh, if that's what you're creating, then you click that little user button right here. Now this is clearly an issue um, on, the, uh, on the iPhone and iPod uh, Touch because this, this is made for an iPad and so it doesn't fit. Now I'm not sure why they don't just release a version for the iPad or iPod Touch. So what I did is you can see here if I pull down enough, sometimes it shows up. Um, you can see there's Witson in me, and there's also a blank user. Now, Witson is up on top here, so I'm just going to tap that, and then that will, um, you just kind of have to know where it is. And that will switch into um, his account. Now, if you have an iPad, that won't be a problem at all. It'll just work, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, it should show up properly on the iPad, but if you have a smaller device, you have to deal with this little cumbersome, annoying thing. But once it's done, it will ask me for the passcode, so one second. Okay, we are unlocked, and so now we are in Whitson's account, or, you know, whatever account you made. And then here you can see in the iCloud settings, that is the fake name I made for Whitson when I had to sign up for an iCloud account so this thing would show that I'm clearly in another account. And again, if you just want to go back to your account when you're done, you just tap that, and then you'll see that... Um, you can, if you go around, it's still blocked, but the one on the bottom is you. And then it will just switch. And then you're back to normal again. That's all there is to it.